When we go about our daily lives in our normal way of thinking, we perceive everything as happening to us. We see our point of consciousness shining out into the world, and we are the center of the universe, comparing ourselves and our circumstances to those around us. In yoga and meditation, when we give ourselves the time to close our eyes and sit in stillness and quiet, we disconnect from the material world and we turn our senses inward and we're able to simply be and experience the interconnectedness of all things and beings. In our normal mode of thinking, we may say, well, our neighbor has more money than us. In our higher consciousness, we appreciate whatever we have. In our normal mode of thinking, we compare our looks to others, those around us, the billboards, the magazines, the movies. In mindfulness, we appreciate life itself and our inner wisdom, our heart, our intuition, and that same beauty and inner nature of others. We don't compare. There's no jealousy. We simply see and appreciate the beauty in the world. As we breathe the air from the trees, we become the trees. As we eat the food of the earth, we become the food of the earth. We realize that we are all one interconnected as we expand our perspective loneliness disappears rivalries dissolve and only love remains because love for all is love for yourself once we find the oneness the true nature of reality. As we expand our perspective, petty squabbles become meaningless, minor stresses become insignificant, anxiety over social interactions disappear because all there is is love and compassion 100% for others and the self dissolves, dissipating, becoming that energetic field that everyone creates, expanding to the entire universe. And when we have this universe-sized perspective, what else possibly matters besides the sheer beauty of this universe and the majesty and the magic of life itself. What daily little inconvenience or annoyance or traffic or bad boss can hold a candle to the infinite, eternal awesomeness of the universe? And so whenever we get bogged down in the day-to-day -day issues and difficulties, all we have to do is remember and think about and focus on this incredible miracle of existence. And it is a miracle that the infinite number of things that had to happen for me to be here talking to you and you to be there listening were able to happen in just the right way. 
We are but tiny specks in a tiny speck in the galaxy, which is a tiny speck in the universe. Like ants on an anthill, building their cities, living their lives, doing what is important to them at the moment without falling for the trick that they are the center of the universe and our lives no more important than ants and no less important than anyone else's is quite simply a miracle. The dance of life playing out in all its beauty exactly as it's supposed to. In lower levels of consciousness, we fixate on objects and we compare them to ourselves and our situations. And as we meditate and reflect and expand our consciousness, we notice the relationships between the objects and the energy coming from people and animals and plants and everything around us. And we feel connected to the sun, which gives us life, and the moon, which sustains us. And there's only gratitude and awe. And this is why we must see beyond our perspectives, beyond borders and cultures, beyond nations and races, and see the light of consciousness in others as the same within ourselves. When we expand our perspective, we don't lash out at other people. We recognize they have a life we don't know about. They have an inner life we're even less aware of. We don't know their struggles. We don't know their trauma. And all we know is we would be them if we were in their shoes. And we would do what they did if we were in their shoes because we are all one in different bodies and different experiences. But deep down, we all seek love, connection, joy, health, and happiness. With expanded perspective, we can value people's different opinions. We can forgive their mistakes. And we can know deep down that everyone is simply doing their best with where they are and what they have. And with that expanded perspective, we can see how we can help bring those people up, help them through, and provide a space for them to be without being judged, criticized, or dehumanized. And we can simply love, give, and forgive.